Can I do anything mechanical? No. But if you need someone to push the clutch in while you diagnose the actual problem underneath the tractor, then I'm your girl. Hmm. Um, first of all, this ponytail, not a good look for me. I, the low pony, can't do it. I look like a founding father, but whatever. Um, they are working on a couple things on tractors, and my dad just wanted me to scan a few things into the computer for them. I'm not really sure what for, but another boring day. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Actually, it's not great. It's kind of overcast, but nice and chilly. I like cold. And then just on the way to the post office before I head to the shop, I've got a ton of Heart of the Midwest packages to drop off. So thank you so much if you have ordered something. If not, then you have a little bit of time left, just a little bit, to get those Valentine's Day gifts um, in check because it's not like you're going to be able to take your lady to the farm show this year. Everyone knows that's the best Valentine's Day gift. Making sure literally every inch of this tractor is cleaned up and sparkling before it goes back out in the shed. Jeff is hauling corn into town um, for our February contracts today, since it is Groundhog's Day. And my dad went back to John Deere today and there were a few things they had to get that they forgot to get yesterday. And while they are doing that, I am sharpening like the chainsaw chains. I've never actually gotten to do this before. This is a new machine, so before we would just have like neighbors and friends do it for us, stuff like that. Um, so I've never gotten the chance. First up, safety glasses. So all of you kind people can't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> all right, I've already done a couple, so. All right, I'll try to do this one-handed. No one tell my dad. So I've already sharpened the one side because they each go like opposite directions. So I'm going to this one. I pull it back um, tight against this. So and then I tighten it there so it doesn't slip. I'll just hold that with my knee. And then I just lower it nice and slow. And then I do that for every single little one. As long as you got a good podcast or Spotify playlist, it's not that bad of a job, really. So I'm still sharpening um, chains this afternoon, but my dad and Jeff, they started this yesterday. They've been um, working on changing these belts um, in the 9560 and the 8310. And I guess I've had a few people ask, this tractor is nine years old and the 8310 is 10 years old yeah that's right so i'd say they're looking pretty pretty good for being a decade and almost a decade old definitely worth taking care of your equipment pops and jeff are both hauling corn today only jeff did yesterday um and I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing today. So I can go ahead and check the markets. And everything is down again. Corn is down. Beans are down. Soybeans. No need to worry about those. Oh, also. Here's our town calendar. I don't know if anyone else has this but our like little town of 400 or some people and then everyone's birthdays are on it wedding anniversaries 
um, even death. So it's kind of nice. It's old school Facebook for reminding you when everyone's birthdays are. So finally talked to my dad and I'm doing what I kind of figured I would be doing. Um, all day haul, which is just kind of like getting a few things organized, cleaned up around here. Um, building this file boxes for paperwork. This is more confusing than I remember it being. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be another boring day. Probably more boring than washing equipment. Actually, probably not, because I enjoy office work, so. So the corn is actually being augered from the bottom of the bin where it will go up into the grain buckets in the lake and it will go all the way up and then it will come out that chute into the truck. I'm getting sent to test this corn. Um, we don't keep it in the scale house uh, this time of year. Keep it right in here in this little room in the shop. So, if you remember from this fall, we just pour it in until that yellow circle turns green. Should be about there. So all of that corn that's in the bins was dried down to between 15 and 16% um, last fall, like coming out of the field. So it should all like all stay dry. So just testing it to compare that with out of the elevators and moisture tester. She's the sweetest lady ever, so it's always nice to stop in and say hi. I think today's plan is the guys are gonna haul a couple loads in this morning, but it's supposed to start raining at noon. Um, these tractors are going back out and then we are bringing our combine and the neighbor's combine in here. And um, the local John Deere tech is really, really good at going through all the combines and seeing anything that's wrong and making us a list of things that we either need to fix ourselves or have them fix. So those combines are coming in and then at some point, I think the plan is to go to the neighbors and help them put their roof back on the tractor. So they had to get a new roof, I think. And so they do all the rewiring and they just need a few extra hands to like get the job done. Back in the shop, like the gator, uh, my dad's pickup. 
it's a little chilly out there today. Just a little bit baby. It's supposed to get super cold this weekend though. I think like wind chill and negative 15. Which means perfect time for um, fireplace. Alright, another full shop. And I think we are headed to the neighbors now um, to go help them. As I was saying, you're gonna to have to spin that corner towards you. That's the back. You gotta come over there. I was gonna say, do we need Do I need to move the ladder on that side and help you I spin? think you're better off with your ladder over there. I'm at the top. Hold on, Doug. I'm at the top of the ladder right now. I got it here, Ross. Now they just have to make sure that the seal is in the right spot and tight all the way around the roof of the tractor cab to make sure that water doesn't leak in. The rain is moving in a little bit faster than we'd like. We're right here. So it should be here in the next hour, hour and a half, which means that the guys are done hauling corn. You can't load the corn um, when it's raining. So. I just have to get the extension cord out there and the shop vac. We actually have to vacuum out the bottom of the auger so all that corn that's stuck in there doesn't, you know, get wet and rot and nasty. And then the guys should get one, one more load to town each. And that will probably be it for the day. And then I will be helping our neighbor Doug. I think we're gonna wash his combine this afternoon. It's already been power washed and blown out, but it just needs hand washed. Okay, so Jeff got his last load. He just left for town, and I just have to use the shop vac um, to get all of this corn out of here just so it doesn't get nasty. Just headed home for lunch. The rain, snow, sleet, ice has hit, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a mixture of all of the above. It is nasty. It started like when I was carrying all the cords and stuff inside, stinging my face. So I'm glad we were done with outdoor stuff for the day. Not like I was doing that much outside. It was just that one little thing. But just headed home for dinner. It's cheaper than getting up town every day at the restaurant. Well, that is it for the week. We quit a little bit early. I guess like a little, about an hour early today, which is kind of nice because that doesn't happen very often, but I've got to go run. The Dana post office closes. It's only open from eight to noon. So I have to go to the next town south to mail that stuff and get it weighed and everything. I hope that you guys all had a great week. Thank you so much for watching along for another week. Promise the closer we get to spring, the more interesting it'll get. We should be done washing by now. I don't think that there's anything left. We'll see. I'm probably, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but yeah. Thanks again. Hope you guys have a great week.